Hi everyone, welcome back to Farm Simulator 22. Okay, so, uh, oh, just trying to start the stop watching my keyboard. Um, yeah, so I've just gone around and done wee bits and pieces. Oh god. Uh, so I had to fill up this tank again with the fuel tank. So it's, uh, I only have to fill it up like every three years or something, and it only costs like two thousand, uh, two thousand pounds. So, yeah, it only works out about six hundred or so, maybe six seven hundred a year. Which is good for all that stuff. Anyway, let's take it across here. We'll go cross country with it. And uh, I usually keep it up close to the the repair shop. The good thing about that grass is that you can just drive over and it won't do any harm to it. There we go. And um yeah, I need to I need to fix this here. Join it onto that. This here needs to be smoothed out as well. Um But all that there will be removed and placed other places and then all this here will be reconfigured. Very tempted to delete that road in between because I don't like it. And that road only connects between there and around the corner, so we could put a clean, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> what's the word, we can put a notice forward to the council saying that we're removing the road and we're improving the infrastructure, so yeah, we'll just let on that we've been given approval on that and remove the road by hiding it and then just join the fields on or whatever um, and just touch off on the land because uh, yeah, it's just a bit awkward the way it is. Anyway, um, so the sugar beet has been planted here in the field so let's go over and have a wee look how's that I need to fix this here um so we need uh, the weeder and we'll need to fertilize it now this is where the slurry tanks will come in so we're going to do that now so let me hop into this one here and turn off that engine actually I need to move that out of the way I'm gonna park it down here sit next to that uh, that cotton Sorry. What do we do there? And this is what we'll be using. So we'll get the uh, slurry tank, the large one, or something along those lines. Slurry tanks. Now there is one, yeah. So like the likes of this one here, where it does um quite a lot long range, is quite good. Uh, what's this one here? Okay. That's 18 meters. Well, what's the biggest? Oh, it's double. I feel like getting this here just to see what it's like. Yeah, let's get this one here. So we get this. What's the combinations? Okay. So we get this here first. And it's 10,000. Okay. Go back, back in, and we get this one. So it's about sixteen thousand of uh, infrastructure to rent. Okay. Now we do have the slurry tank, the one that was supposed to be used for transporting slurry. It is up above at the farm, but it's on standby and it has been filled up with the uh, slurry, ready to fill up if we can fill from it directly. Um, I did sell the rest of the tank at the biogas and only got, um, I think it was like 900 pounds for it, so it wasn't even worth it. I think we'll just use it. It's definitely if you have no, like, a, your own sort of biogas plant and different things like that, you just you know, you get a bit more for it. But I don't plan on buying it just yet. I don't even know if there's a benefit to buying it. I need to start a second uh, world, you no, know, just for creative purposes and just give unlimited money. So I want to try out. Um, there's a few things I want to try out. So 
How does this join onto this thing? How does this work? Hold on here. Let me go out here and have a look at this. How does this join onto it? Right, so it's got a Dreamhite linkage around the back. Surely it doesn't have to reverse all the way up in here, does it? Oh god, it does. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a task. Oh, well, we're up for a challenge. Oh, not yet. Not quite on it yet. Like a glove. Right, so we'll go and take this here up and fill it. It's quite a big unit. How many liters does this thing hold? If this doesn't hold any more than a hundred thousand liters, or if this holds a hundred thousand liters, we're going to be in a bit of trouble because we'll end up half fertilizing this field. Um, if we have fertilized this field with the slurry, I am open to getting a larger slurry pit. There's an extension silo you can put on the back of it where you can uh, save slurry and stuff. So I think what we'll do is we'll do something like that. We'll add more to it. So we'll go up here and fill it anyway. Although that just takes PDO, so we could use the lorry to take this around. To save a bit of time. I wonder if... No, well, you can't do path with a lorry. That's the only issue. Oh, she's struggling. Struggling even on an empty tank, so I wonder how it'll do. We might have went too big. See, this would be good for a flat. Oh yeah, the other tank's in the way, so I need to move that. Let's take it back a bit. Alright, let's switch around. So we'll go around here and we'll lift this tank. And we'll try to see if we can use... What the? What's going on here? Why is that floating like that? Oh. Um. Yeah, I wonder if we can fill it up from this here and try it out anyway when we go past it. At least then we don't have to keep going up and down to fill it. Alright, let's see. Take it up to here. I'll do it. Let's see if we can fill it. Oh, refill. That's cool. Well, I don't want to refill it yet. That's uh, we'll fill it up here from this thing first. Right. narrow there. I'll get around anyway. There we go. Ooh. Doesn't look like it takes that much. For the like the length of it as well. So the other one's thirty. So this one here is Okay. It's about thirty five. Anyway, we'll take it round and we'll go fill it up. Oh. Use it. It's just interesting to know how quick it goes down. We 
and get it into position. So we'll start on this side here and we'll make our way over. Oh. Right, let's get the path set up. Uh, let's see. Field position. Start over here. Generate. Uh, it's done that weird thing again. What happens if I... Uh, it's doing the, the weird lines. Let me try it over the other side. Sometimes that helps. Let's see. Fine field position. What if we start over here? Yeah, it's going back on itself there again if you see it on the right hand side, but I don't really mind that. This might possibly be too big. Nearest one. Oh goodness, look how quick it goes down. I hope we have enough. I don't think we do. It's going down a lot quicker than I thought it was. How much is left? Oh, how much is left? Slurry. Where's Slurry in this? Oh dear, we only have 38,000 liters left. This thing is gonna probably only do about three lanes worth. We're not even halfway up yet, and it's nearly half done. Um, how much is it for an extension tank? Uh, oh yeah, building. Uh, construction. Um, silo extensions. Uh, this one here is 2 million litres, so it's 2.6, and it's this here. So, uh, a liquid manure extension tank needs to be placed next to the barn or another liquid manure tank. So, these are extensions, so that's 500,000, which isn't enough. This one here would be good. That's 158,000. Um, it's going to be supposed to go over here. And if you were putting it anywhere, you would probably put it somewhere like over here yeah there would have been perfect but all that there's in the way yeah all that's in the way see you could you could put it there how far? Could put it there. Hmm. I don't think we want to go mad on spending it yet. Right, so we stop there. Um. Okay. So it does one lane. So we're only going to get three lanes out of this thing. The other thing as well is it's going to go back in itself here again. So that's going to be an issue. I'm going to manually drive it up to the next lane. You know what way would that be now? If that was going down, it should be coming back up this way. Yeah, so we're going the wrong way. I need to take this back in. Oh. So it needs to go back up the ways. 
So it'll only do three lanes. Which isn't bad, but for the price of renting this whole thing, it's not good. Because uh, for the actual like fertilizer tank, it's uh, 65,000. So the money we've spent on renting this has uh, hasn't justified it. So this one will have to go somewhere like somewhere like here. So that's going on about here. So let's go and get the other one. Now remember, the other one had like another 5,000 liters of space in it. So this one here will just barely suit it. I didn't think it would take that much. I honestly didn't. But that extension would be very good, but I can't find a justification in getting it in terms of like money. Yes, it'd be cool and all that, but... Yeah, I just can't find a justification in it. Like, for the price of rent and all that there, let me see, let's have to do a quick calculation here. So, I'm gonna get my pencil out, and um, we're gonna look at the slurry while that's running through that. So, this here was 125k, and that was 6375, 6375, and then the, uh, Combination with that was this one here, which was uh, 10, 3, 2, 7, 10, 3, 2, 7, 7, 5 is 12, 3 and this is 10, uh, 4 and 7, that's 6, and that's 1. 16, 7, 2 is how much that cost to rent just the slurry tank and the uh, extension bit, or the pipes that come out of the side of it. Now, what we'd usually do is, if we were renting the pallet, or the one that, let me see, where is it? If we're renting this here, right? Uh, where are we, where are we, where are we, where are we? Sprayers, it's on dry. Uh, there it is. We usually get this one here at the end, which is 65, and that is 3,300. That's 3,315. Usually with this here, we usually get about two uh, tanks. Three tanks usually f does that field, so let's have a look to see how much that is. So we get liquid fertilizer, which is three of those. So that is uh, three times two, so that is nine six zero zero. Nine six zero zero. If you add those together, that's five. That's one, and that's nine, and that's twelve. <sighs> Um, that is, including buying the fertilizer, 12,915, whereas the stuff we've just rented there now is 16,702, and that is using the own stuff that we have. Uh, keep in mind that if we sell one tank, it's £2,000, so that's 6000 so really that's costing us, it's on top of 16, uh, 22000 almost 10k more, just to use that set up. Let's not forget that if we were to put the extension hang on it, we would have to buy that big extension part, which is a uh, hundred and sixty odd thousand. Um. Yeah. It would take. I would have to get the calculator and take the to to work this here out. But it would take a number of years for that tank to pay itself off. And let's not forget that we don't actually own the equipment this here stuff, we don't own that stuff there, to benefit from it, no, actually make money from it. So, it's a bust. Not worth it. Anyway, let's get this back on course. On the wrong thing. 
I, 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 why is it doing that? I hate when it does that. Don't want it to waste before it goes on it. Yeah, it waits like two percent just before it even gets on it. Oh, we're a bit off here, so we are. Not, not to, to worry about though. Now it won't do that bit there in the center. I just don't think we we'll skip this bit. Yeah, I don't. I don't really care about that because it's only a small bit. And like, this is only sugar beet as well, so we're only trialing it out to see how much we get out of it. Because we will be buying the sugar factory. Let's not forget as well that we need to obviously harvest the sugar beet. And we also need to uh, buy the facility to process the sugar. So, um, we're not going to go mad on spending stuff at the minute. I want to save up. And I also want to pay off that, uh, more, that, I was going to say that mortgage, but it might as well be a mortgage at this stage. It's a loan. It's, it's nice to use it just to experience it because it is pretty cool and you can use slurry and stuff to, to do all that. But uh, this is only good for small fields and if you own the equipment. And that's it. Now, the thing is, the thing to remember is if you were to constantly rent this out in a daily, so if you were to keep this for a couple of months and run it around, let's just see how much that would be. So if we go to slurry tanks and we go to this what is the day lease on this one here so per working day it is 1250 so the base costs yeah so it's an additional it's an additional 1225 so if you were holding on to this for six months it would probably roughly balance out um and then same with the uh attachment that goes with that it is 2000 and again, they take about five months or so for to balance out. So it's a much of a much, to be honest. But this is if you were constantly right now, but it still it doesn't justify. Oh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, course it runs out just as it, just as it comes to the end, doesn't it? Sad times. <sighs> yeah, that's a bit disappointing now. Eh? Um. Yeah, we're gonna have to go fill it up anyway. So let's go get the tanker and go and uh, get some more. So we'll go up here and fill this here up, um, but I'm going to have to go and actually rent out the actual fertilizing stuff now here in a second, or that, uh, I'll just probably use that uh, white yoke there, but we let's not forget we also have that, but see that sprayer is good for herbicide as well and uh, fertilizing, which is something that I would possibly buy and I might actually just do that. Somebody was asked me one day, would I play Euro Truck Simulator? And the answer is no, because I've played it before. And I found it a bit boring, to be honest. Don't get me wrong, it's a good game. Um, but yeah. That's the last of it, or thereabouts. 
I think it's at the top, so we'll, we'll drive up here at the top and swing it around. Probably should have taken the road. Swing it around here now. Truck's not great now. It's very underpowering. Like, it doesn't go as fast as I like, want it to. So we're on 312,000, but it's good money. Like we we can buy a, a field if we wanted to, um. But I'm not gonna bother with it until we get that uh, that uh, beet there, sugar beet harvested and then processed. So we're gonna buy uh, purchase another factory, um, sugar factory. But we'll put it over beside the cheese one, and just add it to distribute. So we'll be taking milk and uh, sugar beet to it for processing. Uh, we might also have to store the sugar beet as well. I don't know how much it will store. God, I've been struggling to get up. This might not actually get up this hill here. This is quite a steep one here. If it can barely get up that, it'll barely get up this bit. Well, maybe not. That's really weird because that there is like obviously steeper than the rest. You gotta get up here with no issue. Right, what I'll do is I'll take this here round. Oh, jackknife. Right. I'm gonna put it back in and do that bit. But yeah, I'm gonna have to actually manually go and get a uh, fertilizer now to do the rest of that stuff, which is disappointing. But the, I would like to buy that uh, that sprayer because it's good for. We we always use it, so I will buy it. But you can put herbicide and you put a fertilizer in it, so whenever like you go to herbicide a field, at least you can. Right, let's see. Oh, she's slipping. Yeah, she's gonna complain now in a second that she can't get up there. I'll try and get it around this way. Sometimes this here works. I'll put this here in because sometimes that helps. No. I'll have to go up this dirt track. Could be just slipping on the grass. It's just a full tank, really. Come on. Oh, she's going up so slowly. But it is a very steep hill there. 
No. I think uh, we're gonna have to go up the last part. I wonder if we can actually reverse it up the hill. No, it's not gonna go. Be wasting time with that. We'll go up the last part. Oh. Yeah, it's not great. Um, I swear to God, this has got worse. This whole path and stuff has got worse for some reason. Something has happened because it happened in the middle of the field. See there on the very left, if you can see, there's a circle on the map. So there's an island has put itself in there. I don't know how that's happened. I need to take a plow to that because that's going to drive me mental. Yeah, we're going to have to go up this last part here. And that, th I don't remember that there being there. Maybe it was, I don't know. Or maybe it's because I turned up the graphics, you know, you can see things a lot better. Take it over a bit. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. Right. Alright, so we get this here filled up. Because it's going to need some more. So it only does three lanes. Blech. Maybe we'll eventually we'll get some extension thing. But uh, oh yeah, but we have manure as well. I would like to try that out. Maybe we'll try that out uh, whenever we go to fertilize it the second time. We'll see what the manure is like. I forgot about that. Oh, nowhere near it. Who's wrong? Why does that? much we're going to get in it. I do, I want to, I, I do want to put a road or something between the air and up here so we can drive up along. But the, I think what we'll do is we'll put some sheep pastures up here as well. So I wish it didn't fold itself in. Let me see now. I'd say because we've drove over some of the crops, it's going to complain that we need to... Yeah, we need to roll it or something like that. Oh, 
Oh, I hate when it does this. I should have enough there to get to the end of this. I wonder how a small one would cope. Probably run a lot quicker, but. Actually, I think what we'll do is. We'll, we'll call this an episode, and the next one we'll try and use the. Four. Three. Two. One. Shockingly bad. It's it's terrible. I think in the next episode we'll try the the manure and see how that goes because slurry is pretty much useless. Slurry would be only good for small fields and that's it. But for the size of the equipment, um, <laughs> it's too big for a small field. I'm trying to think though. Would it would it suit that field down below? That one down there. See, it doesn't have to deal with hills. I'd say that probably has a factor on it as well. Oh well. Anyway. Um, so we're going to call that an episode. Uh, so thanks again for watching. If you have any comments or any suggestions. Do drop it down below. Or visit Discord channel that is linked in the description. Follow Discord channel for the schedule as well as the information board. There you'll be able to see what games we're playing. As well as when those games are coming out onto YouTube. If you are enjoying the content do consider subscribing. And drop a like if you enjoy what you see. As you know it helps show when people are interested the most. And I'll try and focus on those areas a bit more in the future. But yeah, next episode we're going to try the manure and see how that goes. In terms of spreading and how quickly it goes down on it. But I just can't see it being any more of a benefit. So yeah, but uh, we've got loads of money to play with. But I don't want to spend too much. So there's that. But uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. I would like to give a massive shout out to the channel donators, you helped make these videos possible.